For years, doctors have been working on a way to help people with sickle cell disease, a genetic condition that causes extreme chronic pain, as well as life-threatening strokes and organ damage. Health reporter Erica Edwards follows one family's journey toward a cure for sickle cell. Any other questions for us today about the plan? The McDonald family has waited 13 years for this doctor's visit. So you know that something wasn't right. A bone marrow transplant well, I mean, for son Jensen, it, so intended to cure that. him of sickle cell disease. I want to see this child live without pain. Here's the cause of the excruciating chronic pain associated with sickle cell. Misshapen red blood cells that clog vessels, starving organs and tissue of oxygen. Sometimes pain is so bad it's kind of it's really hard to explain it. Treatments are usually limited to heavy painkillers and frequent blood transfusions. Ideally, a bone marrow transplant would replace the patient's blood and immune systems. But finding an exact donor match to cut the risk of life-threatening rejection is often impossible. The problem is that you only have a one in four chance of finding a sibling that's a match. Maybe you don't have any siblings, then you have no matches. Doctors at Johns Hopkins Hospital have spent decades perfecting a technique using donors who are only partial or half matches. The ability to use a half match family donor means that for virtually every situation we encounter, we can find some suitable donor. The process involves taking stem cells from a healthy person's bone marrow and then transfusing them into a patient. The medical science is finally there to help him. And you're the one to do it. I'm the donor. <laughs> How great is that? It was Jensen's mother, Daggy, who turned out to be the closest match. Two surgeons worked in tandem, painstakingly harvesting bone marrow from Dagny's hips. This is where Dagny just had to give four times the amount of blood given in a typical donation so doctors could harvest enough stem cells for Jensen. Let's do it. We're starting it. Within hours, Jensen was infused with his mother's stem cells. Dagny watching from the recovery room. Uh, thank you, God. A blessing for the McDonald's. A hope for thousands of others with sickle cell disease. Mm. Wow, that is amazing. Technology nowadays, the medical field. Mm -hmm. Mom amazing. to the rescue again. Yeah.